What's going on YouTube? It's the Game Zombie here with an all new video on Mortal Kombat 11. <laughs> so we got our first look at the Joker, a nice little chunk of gameplay along with his super and his fatality and I am actually pleasantly surprised. I am obviously just like anybody else, you know, a Joker fan who's not. Um, but I'm not the biggest fan of DC and comic book characters in my Mortal Kombat games. And so I kind of wanted to just make a video and get your guys thoughts on how exactly you all feel about a comic book character specifically from DC being in MK. Now I know that this topic has been highly discussed previously ever since Injustice 1 with the release of Scorpion. Um, you know, a lot of people hate it, but you can't deny that a lot of people love it as well. And that's what's kind of interesting about the whole subject. So it seems like the deep Mortal Kombat community, the diehard players, the pro players, uh, even the hardcore casual players all seem to loathe the fact that we're getting a comic book character in place of a Mortal Kombat character as far as DLC goes. There's so many highly requested characters, you know, characters that didn't make the roster like fan favorites like Melina, Rain, Ermac, Reptile, uh, you know, I can go on and on, but all these characters are missing from the roster and yet here we are getting comic book characters. Um, and it just seems to rub a lot of people the wrong way, but you can't deny the fact that Back in 2014, with the release of uh, Scorpion in Injustice 1 as the first transitional DLC character, uh, it was the highest paid and most requested character in the game. And Ed Boon put out those results almost a year after Scorpion was released in the game. Scorpion was released, I believe, in June 2013 for Injustice. Uh, and Ed Boon, I think later in like February, uh, released the statistics that Scorpion was indeed the most downloaded character in Injustice out of all the DLC. And so, you know, it makes you wonder if all these people are hating on him, or hating on, you know, this Mortal Kombat character as being in DC games and DC characters being in Mortal Kombat games, then why do people keep paying for it? Why do people keep requesting it, you know? Uh, and that answer, I, you know, I guess, is the casuals. You know, casuals love guest characters. Casuals love movie characters. You know, they don't necessarily care if we get Mortal Kombat characters specifically. They're more interested in, you know, flashy kind of, I guess, pop culture icons. And I, I can understand that. You know, it does add a fun factor being able to play, you know, um, Predator or Leatherface. You know, it does definitely have its... But when all said and done, when you're playing Mortal Kombat game, you want to play Mortal Kombat characters. Now, I will say, I am looking forward to playing the Joker, having him, you know, actually, for the first time, busting out some mature R-rated fatalities. I definitely think that that's something that has left a sour taste in Ed Boon's mouth ever since they released um, Mortal Kombat vs. DC, and I'll get into that a little later, but yeah, As seeing Joker's fatality for the first time, uh, man, I did not expect <laughs> any of that, uh, and that's one thing I have to give NetherRealm credit for, is they're definitely always pushing the envelope when it comes to uh, creativity and brutality and, and gore and all that, man. I mean, the, the guys over there must be... Uh, on, on some pretty crazy uh, hallucinogens or something to be coming up with uh, some of the stuff that they do. So props uh, to Netherrealm, always. Um, so back to what I was saying about, you know, uh, Ed Boon having that sour taste in his mouth and not kind of getting to fulfill what he really wanted to for the Joker. You know, Ed Boon has gone on record several times now saying that he was, you know, disappointed and that his back was up against the wall with, uh, you know, the studio execs and the developers. Um, you know, he wasn't able to make the game that he wanted with Mortal Kombat versus DC, and I think that really, you know, fueled him and 
and uh, you know the, the team members that former team members of Midway that formed NetherRealm Studios to go on to pursue and create Injustice and so you know even though we got what is arguably one of the worst Mortal Kombat's if not the worst in my opinion Mortal Kombat game ever made Mortal Kombat versus DC uh, you know subsequently we got some really awesome games out of it in the future in the form of Injustice uh, and then later on you know obviously they, they took parts and pieces from Injustice and implemented them into MK like the gear system and stuff like that so you know we, we also got a new version of Mortal Kombat that we might not have ever gotten if we didn't get that version of uh, Injustice as well and so you can't help but think that Ed Boon has kind of been trying to prove himself and, and kind of make that Joker that he always wanted and even though we've had several variations and versions of Joker in NetherRealm games we haven't gotten one in Mortal Kombat with a solid hard mature rating like this and so I'm definitely intrigued you know and I would love for the Joker to have been like a standalone DLC character after the season pass you know just like a random that you can purchase later on down the road versus him taking up one of the character slots uh, but with that being said there's just something about you know being able to fatalitize the Joker or being able to fatalitize somebody as the Joker and rip him apart causing this mayhem and this gore there's just something about that that is uh, just fulfilling at least for me I mean who knows maybe I'm just sick and twisted like that but I think we're all a little fucked up. Um, that's why we like these games, you know. I'm really interested to, to know how you guys feel about, you know, the guest characters, specifically um, characters like, you know, the Joker and other DC conflict characters in Mortal Kombat. I know there's quite a few people out there that don't play Injustice, and there's quite a few people out there that play Injustice that don't play Mortal Kombat, uh, and that's perfectly okay. Um, but, you know, there, that being said, there's a lot of people out there that say, I don't want comic book characters in my Mortal Kombat games and I don't want Mortal Kombat characters in my you know comic book fighting games like Injustice. So that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this video really looking forward to starting the new year and doing more videos like this one uh, and the best way for you guys to let me know if you guys are interested in that is by just destroying that like button and leaving your guys thoughts in the comment section below so go ahead and do me a favor and do that. I will do my best to try to get back to you guys. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe.